Hey guys, it has been a while since I've made a video. Um, I've been pretty um, sick myself with uh, health issues, so I haven't really had a lot of time to do art as much as I like. Um, but I wanted to do a little video for you here because this is my couch box. And I wanted to do an updated one since the last one I did was several years ago. And I've got a bunch of new supplies in here that I really enjoy using and that make it easy to do all of this in a recliner, which is actually over there. If I can point on camera, right there um, is my recliner and that is where I do a lot. I have like a folding table from um, like Costco or Walmart that I pop up next to it and this is what goes on there. Um, so I kind of wanted to go over that, um, but first I wanted to do this. So. This is actually my art journal sketchbook. I call it my book book. Um, it has everything in it from notes to doctor's appointments to collages to watercolor or marker drawings. I love it. It's um, by, it's a Denik and um, you can get this for, if you use a coupon, $6 at um, Michael's. It's um, my favorite size. It's the size of a composition book. Um, this is just um, a band for a happy planner and sorry I'm like off stage to the side when I'm filming this so I'm gonna try to do this right um, but anyway it's um, I put a little pocket in the front and I just got a whole bunch of stuff in here um, this is all Copic work uh, let's see this is all collage work um, watercolor um, Copic marker, black Sharpie, collage, all of that in here because I wanted to test how it did. Um, this is my pages that I like to do. I use watercolors and mermaid markers, which are included, but I keep them um, somewhere else. I keep them up high because I have a dog. I don't want her to knock them down because some of them have a tendency to leak if you don't keep them upright um, in storage. So they're in their own little thing up there. Um, and then um, stamping, this is all Copic, this is from when I went to the aquarium in San Diego, and just some random supplies, and some more drawings, and Copics, and this is church drawings with a pen, and you know, just a whole bunch of stuff. This is from an exercise I did for a class, and planning, and then this is my current spread that I'm working on. As you can see, it's a lot different than stuff, and I really love it, and anyway, this is kind of where I'm at. But I want to show you this because this is what goes with me everywhere. It's in my purse. And then these are the tools I carry with me. These change because I usually have the Copic colors of the month. And um, so I usually have those in there, the three colors that they have for every month. I also have um, pocket pen. This is a drawing pen some Copics, a white pen, a uh, pencil. I have a really nice pencil that I actually can't find right now, so it's not in here. Um, but anyway, so this is what goes with me everywhere. So back to this. All right, so, and this is just in a, sorry, I'll try to center it for you guys. Okay, so this is just a plastic bin I got from Daiso when I was in San Diego the last time in September. And um, so it's got a bunch of stuff in here, so I'm gonna take this off. Okay, so you guys, I, I, I don't think it's a surprise to anyone that there's a gazillion Copic markers in here um, because I love my Copics and especially when you don't have a lot of energy and you want to do coloring and blending and there's a lot of really cool techniques you can do with them and instead of keeping them in the actual case I have for them, I just pull out the colors I want to use and add them here and then I never put them back. So um, those are in here. Over here are all my paint markers, a um, bunch of Poscas, brush ones some more multi-liners. Um, these are the, um, what is it, the Marabu Aqua markers. Um, they've got a brush tip and that tip. They're actually very, very juicy markers. I bought some just to try them out because I was curious about them. Um, so I did this one night with them um, exclusively and I really like it. They blend together. Um, and then I can add water or whatever. This is just a Strathmore um, mixed media book. 
just if I'm in the mood to do like smaller water-based stuff, I like to do it in here just because the Denik book, it, it will do this. Um, but there's some water techniques that sometimes you do need, oh, my speaker, sorry, that you do kind of need mixed media paper for. So those are in here. I got this set um, and I really like them. I'm probably gonna use like this one a lot for shading. And then this black isn't really a black. It's like a, like a darker color. I don't know. Anyway, um, washi tape. I always gotta have some washi tape. Um, this I got the info from um, Megan Wells, Make Wells. It's uh, bleed proof white and basically if I can get it open um, it's the reason I use this is because I don't know if you guys have done this but if you use Copics and you put white paint over Copics the Copics will bleed up through the white paint so if you are frustrated right now because you do work like this or with the Copics and the stuff is coming up through the white that is because it's the, the nature of the inks used this bleed proof white um, it will not do that and so I usually have like a small water brush I use with this um, then I also have um, these are the Ecoline brush pen markers they are also super juicy um, and these are the fun ones where if you press down it gets darker and up it's lighter so if you're doing like brush lettering these are really really great to use with it um, and they just they're just really easy to use and pull out um, I also have I'll have to grab the rest of these. These are neon, this is a neon glitter pen, and I'll show you when I get into the other box, the rest of them. Um, it's a neon glitter marker from Target. Um, what else do I have in here? Okay, so these are the new Jane Davenport color sticks. She's got these and the drama sticks, but I like these. They're less expensive. They're gel crayons, so if you are familiar with gelatos, that's what these pretty much are. The colors are amazing. They're very rich. You can layer them. You can blend them. Um, I'm trying to think of where that page is that I used it on, but I don't know where it is. So I'll post it later um, in the blog post, but these are amazing. So I have both of these sets. This is the, um, what is this one? Soul Window, and this one is Silky Skin. I love them both. Okay, other water soluble media I have in here are Dina Wakely's uh, Scribble Sticks. These are watercolor crayons. They're pretty much like the uh, Caron d'Arche, which I do have somewhere. Um, but these are just easier because I like the second set a little bit more than this one, but it's just easy to grab this tin and go. And then when you're out and about, you can just open it and there are your colors. So it's not like a lot that you're carrying around. All right, these are my chalk pastels. I've started using these again. I just took a class with Sabrina Harrison and she uses these and so I pulled mine out. They are very broken and I've had them for a very long time. And then this box, actually, this is what they gave me when I bought them at Jerry's a long time ago. Um, these are the pastel palette um, from Jane. I just love the colors. They're like such like galaxy colors and they're just so vibrant and beautiful to use and layer. These are at Uspica. They are made by the same company as Copic. Um, they are water-based glitter pens. Um, these are actually really great for if you're doing like any kind of um, uh, planner stuff um, because they're very fine point and they're very, very glittery. Um, you gotta have some neon pink, so here's some neon pink. I bought some of these paints. They're like a gel paint of, of Jane's and they actually come in a thing, like they really do look like makeup, but they're very interesting. I can't compare them in anything I've used before. So they're really fun to play with. Um, I've got, this is a, um, oh my gosh, Frisket, uh, what is it also called? The stuff that you use with watercolors, masking fluid. <laughs> the stuff you use with watercolors that um, it's a pen form. It's got a tip like that. And so I can put that down and then use my water media on top of it and it's good. Um, I've got a couple of these Stabilo jumbo pencils. Um, my friend Tangie and her husband use these a lot and I can see why they're amazing. I really love them. They're not as soft as these or these, um, but they are very colorful. Of course, I have one of my water brushes here. So that's in the bin. Okay. So 
this is kind of like if I'm going to go somewhere and do art, I grab this. It's got the nice little handle. It's made for the happy planner. I don't care. I'm going to use it for what I want. And this is where you're going to see that I have more of my stuff in here. Um, scissors, double-sided tape. There's a glue stick in here. More water pens. This is one of the white jelly rolls. Um, here's a little stencil, some papers and stickers and collage stuff. Um, this is my Copic version of the um, pocket brush that I have had because I lost my pocket brush and then I got a new one. These are Faber-Castell, the colored pencils that they have. Um, I like them more than the Prisma. They work a lot like the Prisma, but they're not as soft and they do not break nearly as much, which is awesome. That makes me very happy. Um, then in here, here are more of the, um, the glitter pens from Target. Um, a couple more um, paint pens, my giant Sharpie. These are the Jane's, um, like, they're like brush pens, but the tip is different. They're really kind of fun to play with, so I grabbed some of those. I got a gift card, so that's why I have a whole bunch of her stuff. I just kind of went crazy in Michael's one day. Um, here's my gouache that I like to use. Here's more of those things. Um, this is my favorite yellow, but I only have it in um, acrylic, so it's in here. Here's my cobalt teal because that's the best color in the entire universe. And it, I'm glad it came back. It's actually a little different than the cobalt teal they had before because I still have some of that in this form. Um, this is really cool. This is a tiny, I'm going to try to hold it up higher. It's a tiny exacto knife and it moves with your hand so you can do very precise cuts with it. And I like this because I've been doing a lot of stuff where like I cut through papers in my journal and like put in like peekaboos and all that kind of stuff. So that lets me do that really easily. And what's not in here is I have actually um, a cutting pad that fits in here. That that way I can cut through paper and not have to like worry about going through several sheets or dulling the blade by just going through paper. Um, here's, this is one of the watercolor sets I have. This is the Tropicals by Prisma, which I really like these colors for some reason. Um, I have a couple other of, um, of those, but that's the one I really like. So this is kind of like, I've got like a little ruler in here and this clip to keep my journal open. So like if I'm going to run out and do some art journaling, I just grab this and I go. So that's pretty much that. I don't have too much more to show you guys. Um, I have right now a bucket <laughs> and this has got, um, my papers that I'm collaging with. Here's some jelly prints I'm gonna cut up to put my journals. I always keep these bags because I like putting those in there. This should be in there too. It's silly, but it's just a bag from Starbucks, but I like the pattern, so I'll put it in there. Um, some more paint papers I've made to cut up, you know. And then this is just a sheet of like um, random ink writing that I got down John John's media pad. I cut this up and use it in my journals as well. So, that is pretty much the entirety of my couch box that I have now, um, that I use now next to me. And honestly, if I want to go um, to like a friend's house, I honestly, or even cafe, I don't think I would be afraid to do that. I, um, more Copics in here. So I just keep this like this and then I can just pick it up and go. I can put it out in my kitchen. I can pick it up and bring it to a friend's house or a cafe. Um, it's got acrylics, it's got watercolors, it's got crayons, it's got some markers. It's pretty much got a little bit of everything. The nice thing about all the things that I use is I use water brushes with everything. And um, like when you use the gouache, you just wanna make sure you rinse off the, the tip really well. But other than that, I can use water brushes with everything. I have napkins that I get from like restaurants when I eat and I just keep them stacked next to my chair. And um, yeah, so I, this is pretty much what I use. Like I said, I also have my mermaid markers, but they're kept somewhere else because I want them to not leak. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much all I use to create now and it's fun. Um, the new thing that I'm doing is using kids glue um, to glue down collage. And I just mix this with water and put it in a cup. And when I'm collaging, I actually will take like the whole sheet of paper and put it into the glue and then put it in the book. So I'll put you back in there, guy. You belong in there. There's another bin over here with other stuff. For example, um, um, like I have a second bin for like if I'm going to really get into doing art. Um, I got white and black gesso. Um, this is 
Coastal um, by Full Cart, which is really fun and textured. And just some more acrylic paints and like uh, stuff like that if I'm gonna go big. Like I have a giant roll of drawing paper that I put down on my my rug, which you can see under here. Put down on my rug and then I actually sit on the paper and I start working on stuff and I end up painting on the paper and stuff. And so that's why this is in a different container as to say. It's the same kind of bin, it's just a different one. I think that is it. Um, this is a very long video. I'm not editing it down. I'm just gonna upload it the way it is. Um, if you have any questions about supplies, anything like that, post a comment on the video or on the blog post or even Instagram. You can hit me up there. I look at Instagram a little bit more than anywhere else. And um, in the coming weeks, I'll be sharing more journal pages and I'll also be doing reviews. Um, the new thing that I really wanna do is show how you can adapt these materials to be used wherever you are, if you have a disability, if you have a small space, if you you know, have problems with your hands or whatever, I want to be able to show you how you can use all of these materials very simply and how you can alter how you use these materials to make them work for you. Anyway, that's what I've got. This was an impromptu video and now I am off to see friends and work on my novel for NaNoWriMo, but you can hit me up on the interwebs. I always have my phone with me, um, like everyone else in the world who has one. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much guys. Sorry it's been so long and I hope to see you again soon.